Welcome to Kid Crafted Chronicles, the podcast where young imaginations take the spotlight. In this enchanting audio journey, the storytelling power is in the hands of our creative listeners. Kids like you send us their fantastic story ideas, and we turn them into thrilling episodes. Fasten your seatbelts because the adventures are about to begin. Today's story is called A Doorway to Memories Past. The story concept was created by Gregory from Ontario, Canada. It's about a teenager named Max who finds a magical doorway in his bedroom one morning. This discovery takes Max on an unbelievable adventure. What surprises await Max through this doorway? Listen along to find out. A Doorway to memories past. It was a sunny Saturday morning when Max woke up to find something very odd in his bedroom. Right next to his bookcase was a door that hadn't been there the night before. Well, that's strange, thought Max, scratching his messy bedhead. How did that door get there? The door was tall with a shiny golden knob right in the middle. It didn't look like any of the other doors in Max's house. This one was painted a deep purple color with tiny stars and moons decorated all over it. Max leaned in for a closer look. The stars seemed to sparkle and glow, even though it was daytime. Should I open it? Max wondered out loud. He was feeling brave, so he decided to go for it. Ever so slowly, Max turned the golden knob and pulled the door open. A bright light shone from inside the doorway, growing bigger and bigger until... Poof! With a rush of wind that ruffled his pajamas, Max found himself standing inside his old house from many years ago. Back when Max was just a little kid. It's... it's my old house! Max cried in disbelief. Everything looked just as he remembered it. The blue wallpaper in the living room, his toddler handprints preserved in paint on the stair steps, all his favorite toys and cartoon character posters decorating his old bedroom. It was like Max had stepped through a portal in time back to when he was five years old. He couldn't believe his eyes. This is amazing, shouted Max as he ran from room to room, flooded with happy nostalgia. All of the memories from his childhood came rushing back. Max slid down the banister of the staircase, giggling joyfully. Next, he leapt onto the living room couch and bounced up and down and up and down. He remembered how much fun it was to jump as high as he could on the couch when he was little. After bouncing himself out, Max explored the kitchen. His height barely reached past the counters now, just like when he was a kid. Max opened the refrigerator, expecting to find his favorite snacks and treats. Oh man, it's empty, cried Max in disappointment. Oh well, he thought. I can just imagine the yummy flavors. Next, Max checked his old bedroom to see what toys were waiting for him there. He discovered shelves full of his coolest action figures, race cars, dinosaurs, and Legos. The toy chest brimmed with dress-up clothes, puppets, and stuffed animals. Jackpot! exclaimed Max as he dove into the piles of toys. He spent the next hour playing imaginary games and going on epic adventures. For a little while, Max felt like he was five years old again, without a care in the world. But Max's super hearing detected familiar sounds coming from the backyard. He pressed his ear against the window, gasping as he spotted two furry friends 
he hadn't seen in ages. Rufus the dog and Mittens the cat. My dear old pets, thought Max, his heart swelling with love. He raced to the back door and flung it wide open. Rufus, Mittens, you're here, shouted Max gleefully. The dog and cat were just as darling as Max remembered. Shaggy old Rufus bounded over, tail wagging nonstop. Mittens strutted behind at her own slow pace, meowing a greeting. <coughs> Max hugged Rufus tight, giggling as the pooch smothered him in happy doggy kisses. Next, he scooped up Mittens, cuddling her soft fur close while she purred contentedly. I've missed you guys so much, said Max. He spent the rest of the morning playing fetch, chase, and laser tag with Rufus and Mittens, creating more magical memories together. Too soon, the afternoon sunshine reminded Max that he couldn't stay in this blast from the past forever. As much fun as he was having, his family would start to worry if Max was late for dinner. With a heavy heart, Max said goodbye to Rufus and Mittens. I promise to come back through the magic door to visit really soon, he told them, giving the furry friends one last hug. Slowly, Max walked back to the shimmering doorway to his present-day life. He took one long, lingering look back at his old house. I won't forget this magical place, Max whispered. With that, he stepped through the doorway and heard it click closed behind him. Back in his modern bedroom, Max looked around in a daze. Had it all been a dream? But the golden door with twinkling stars was still there against the bookcase. Max grinned. His childhood adventure had been real. The next morning, Max jumped out of bed and raced over to where the magic door had been. But now, only an empty wall and his bookshelf stood there. The dazzling doorway was gone. Max felt a pang of sadness in his heart. But then he realized the door had already given him the most magical gift of all. Precious memories he thought were gone forever. From that day on, whenever Max missed his younger years, he would close his eyes and imagine stepping back through the magic door. In his mind, he could visit his old house, play with his childhood toys, and pet his dear old pets Mittens and Rufus any time he wanted. The End My name is Ben Moody, and I thank you for joining us on another magical journey through Kid Crafted Chronicles. If you've been inspired by the wonderful stories spun by our young storytellers and want to submit your own idea for a story, we'd love to hear from you. Follow us on social media or visit our website at kidcraftedchronicles.com to share your imaginative tales and join our creative community. Your story may be written and featured on a future episode. Together, we'll keep the storytelling wonder alive. This is an Amaros Media production.